So in Swisscom, our modernization plan up to 2021 is very broad. We start in preparing all our cloud infrastructures to be ready to take on the NFE uh, transformation program. This year, uh, already about 20% of our networking functions will go into the cloud. Second, uh, in the modernization plan of Swisscom, we also renovate the IP transport network. Uh, where we prepare ourselves for the future load which has to be handled over the uh, YLN network. And lastly, the most important part of the modernization plan will happen in the YLN access, where by 2021 in Switzerland all commonalities will get ultra broadband with at least 80 megabits per second speeds. We will go up to 500 megabits uh, per second using GFAST technology. Besides uh, one third of Switzerland, which already today gets FTTH speeds over one gigabits per second. So once we are through that uh, renovation program, we will of course be able to offer lots more high bandwidth demanding services, including uh, high resolution uh, video services, uh, but also we truly believe that uh, in a multi-user um, or multi-family uh, environment at your home or also at business, you will need much, much higher internet-based speeds. Swisscom and Huawei has a very long-term strategic partnership already in the Wireland side. We started 10 years ago to build our optical backbone networks in Switzerland based on Huawei technology. We've added the Wireland Access uh, G.Fast project uh, four years ago. We have just recently now decided to also use Huawei in the IP transport as well as in the SD1 area to, to uh, offer new services to the market. So the relationship is Huawei was already very good. We have strengthened it now with some other decisions we have taken in favor of Huawei. And we just very much like their speed, their ability, their also willingness to really listen to customer demands, their strong R&D power. And we truly believe that Huawei is, uh, is the leading wireline technology partner for us.